In this presentation we are going to look at the independent samples distribution test for SPSS. The version of SPSS we're using is version 21 and for best use uh, on YouTube I advise full screen mode. So distribution test uh, tests for independent samples and what we're going to use is this is a non-parametric procedure and the data set we're going to use is called mpar3.save and it's available at my website kobryandublin.wordpress.com so let's have a quick look at the data set again npar3.save there's two variables there's a numeric variable called score that's not normally distributed and we have a categorical variable it's a grouping variable essentially so you, for these type of procedures uh, you have to specify a group and the groups are A and B now what we wish to do is determine whether or not the distribution of scores for group A is significantly different to the distribution of scores from group B so um, here is how we would go about doing that. Are the medians, are the, sorry, are the distributions significantly different? And uh, median, analyze non-parametric independent samples and automatically compare distribution across groups, score and group. Uh, you can disregard that, that wasn't meant to be in there. So let's do that. Let's go up to mpar3, that's our data set there. And Let's go down to non-parametric tests and we go to independent samples. Click on that. Now, automatically compare distributions across groups. So let's just check that the fields are uh, okay. What ha usually happens here, if you don't have Atom set up, you'll get a little error and it will send you to this dialog box. And it will just tell you, put in something, a numeric variable here for test fields and a grouping variable down here for grouping. So that's ready to run and okay the distribution of score is the same across categories of groups and it formally is called the independent samples man whitney u test and our conclusion is reject the null hypothesis the significance value also known as p as the p value is incredibly small 0 0.000 it's actually less than it's got uh, too many zeros in it and so that is um how we would sort of perform this test that the score, the distribution of scores are not the same across groups, and uh, that ends. That's it, really. That ends our presentation.